Hello everyone, Rabbi Abram here. And for this video, I'm going to read some Torah from my desk. Here we go. As we move between books, we say chazak, chazak, and chazak. Strong, strong, we are strengthened. From Leviticus to Numbers, we break. In Leviticus, the Israelites receive the new rules of their theology. They're now told in Numbers, they're can't be defined by sacred geometry. In the east, the tip of the spear, three tribes of Leah are encamped here. The tribes of Issachar, Zebulon, and Judah, whose eyes are all clear. 186,400 troops march without fear. To the south, three more tribes, two of Leah and one of Zilpah, are pitching tents. The tribes of Reuben, Simeon, and Gad, troop by troop, they represent. 151,450 troops commence. In the center of the tents of meaning is midway between these divisions. From the sacred tabernacle, the tribe of Levite takes their positions. The Levites themselves are a tribe divided, but that's for later revisions. To the west, the seaward side, tribes of Rachel raise their standard. The tribes of Benjamin, Ephraim, and Manasseh move with the Israelites landward. 108,100 troops from the back do not meander. To the north, a tribe of Zilpah and two more from Bilchah, Rachel's handmaid. The tribes of Asher, Dan, and Naphtali come to the Israelites' aid. 157,600 troops unafraid. And these are the tribes of Israelites numbered in camps prepared for battle. They are ready to wander the Sinai, organized better than at Babel. 603,550 troops ready to rattle. The sacred geometry calculates the price of a people without a nation. A people chosen by Adonai instead practice their own kind of coordination. In numbers, the Israelites are a nomadic people and need their own cohesion. And Adonai offers them at Sinai a shared experience as a form of adhesion. It is unfortunate that this sacred geometry has such a bellicose nature. It would have been nice to see a counting of every woman, child, and teenager. This is the reality of a people without borders. Security is a special priority. A division of ranks of warriors is what is described by the authority. And so with the Israelite camp from Egypt all organized by clan and tribe, they're ready to move out. It's time for them to go, as Adonai prescribes. What the future holds for these wayward people is difficult indeed. Challenges and trials wait for them as our Torah decreed. But it's not easy work to grow as a sacred people of Adonai. However, with this sacred geometry, the Israelites are prepared to be purified. Uh, thank you for listening to me as I read some Torah at my, at my office.